Who sleeps better? A baby fed by breast or bottle? It's a good question. First, let's set the groundwork. By the time you've had your baby, you may have decided how you want to feed her. The weight of scientific opinion leans toward breastfeeding. But the benefits have been oversold, unfortunately. If there are medical or psychological reasons why you can't, you should not be made to feel as though you're not doing the best you can for your baby. Whatever you decide, breast or bottle, you should know that it's not too late now to change your mind. Unless you're dead set against breastfeeding, it won't hurt you or your baby to give it a try. Remember, that there are many nurses and lactation consultants who can help you learn how to do it. Here are some reasons not to choose bottle over breast. There are many resources out there to help you through the tough initial phases of breastfeeding. The La Leche League is just one of many pro breastfeeding organizations that exist just to help new moms. Contrary to what you might have heard, La Leche League is not militantly pro-breastfeeding, as you might think. Triple L and other breastfeeding resources are only there to help you. We're adults here. We can talk. Your husband probably likes your breasts, and he doesn't like the idea of being prohibited from access to them, right? But in my view, that's a pretty bad reason not to breastfeed. You still have them when your baby weans, and then your husband can ha have his turn. After all, you're going to teach your child to share someday. You might as well start practicing what you plan to preach. It's okay, you can still breastfeed. Maybe you won't be able to do it as much or as often when you return home, but you can still make it happen. There are few things in life about which one can say that a little is better than nothing. Breastfeeding is one of those things. Even if you breastfeed for as short as a week, your baby will benefit. Don't forget you can pump. Frozen breast milk can last so long that you can keep it for most of the first year you'll be feeding it to your baby. Reasons not to choose breast over bottle. Moms, repeat after me. I am the mother. I'm serious. Say it out loud. How you choose to feed your baby is nobody else's business. Now, with this right comes the responsibility of making the decision. Know why you choose one over the other, but don't feel you have to defend that decision. Absolute barking madness. The choice to bottle feed, like the inability to breastfeed for whatever reason, has nothing to do with your success or failure as a parent. Trust me, there are 99 ways to goof as a parent, but the decision to bottle feed is not one of them. Don't breastfed babies sleep better? There aren't many studies on this, but one study from the United Kingdom suggested that breastfed babies sleep slightly less than bottle-fed babies. There is more than one way to interpret this, though. It could be that the bottle-fed babies sleep more because they're fed much more, perhaps too much. It's a trade-off. Do breastfeeding mothers sleep better? Well, it turns out they don't. This study suggested that both bottle feeders and breast feeders slept just as much, or just as little, 
as the case may be. So to summarize, there is some benefit to breastfeeding over bottle feeding, but the gains are not as spectacular as some people would say. The choice is yours. Either breast or bottle is good. Think about your decision, make it, and then own it. Bottle-fed babies may sleep better, but their mothers do not. Thank you for watching. Please enjoy the other busy videos in the archive.